Happy Wednesday, guys. Hope you enjoyed yesterday's workout. Today's workout, we're back with some kipping pull-up work. So we're gonna work on this every other week. Um, Imam 10, every minute on the minute, we're gonna do five to 10 kipping pull-ups. Now, this is a little bit different for everyone's uh, skill level. So um, if you have kipping pull-ups, this may be the time to start building volume and endurance uh, with this EMOM. So every minute of the minute, you're gonna pick a number, you're gonna be consistent with your form and technique and start to build volume. If you don't have kipping pull-ups, this is also a great time to start practicing right now. You got the chance, um, lots of time too at the open gym. So let's go with practicing those kipping pull-ups, whether it be practicing five kip swings plus three um, half kipping pull-ups. So we're just practicing trying to get our chin halfway up that bar. That's still practice towards your kipping pull-ups or even working with a band. Um, again, take this time to practice kipping pull-ups and start to work that gymnastics in, start learning how to kip and get your body into that position because this is going to be really valuable for more gymnastics movements to come forward and also it's a really good way to build skill and coordination with your body being able to uh, find tension and relaxation in the right times uh, to be able to do a certain movement and that's a skill that you should be starting to strive for that because that's what you want to be working towards for your body to be more aware of different movements so with this gymnastics movement it's a good great great start um, to work on that coordination, that skill, where your shoulders are, where your core is in space, um, and just building towards that kipping pull up and even further than that, maybe one day chest to bar, or bar muscle up, toes to bar, or even any other movement you wanna do on the bar is gonna require a lot of that coordination of your body. So with that said, um, after that, I'm gonna go into a workout. Again, these workouts been a little bit more gymnastics, um, bias, so a little bit more body weight. So with this one is an AMRAP 10, we're going up in reps, three, six, nine, 12, 15, just continuously going, uh, wall walks. And then after each set of wall walks, so let's say the first round, you're doing three wall walks, then you're going into 21 kettlebell swings with a heavy weight. Then you're going into six wall walks and then 21 kettlebell swings, again, with the same weight there. And you're continuously going up and you're trying to get as far as you can in 10 minutes. The focus of today, both of the gymnastics and the, the workout today, is gonna to be all about body positioning, as I mentioned earlier. We wanna learn how to get our body into those right positions to be able to utilize it or get into a certain movement or a certain movement pattern um, to be able to basically get control of our body. So with that said, um, one thing that comes up to mind is with those wall walks in the workout. Sometimes we get a little bit lazy, we're breathing heavy and we kind of let ourselves sag so our hips sag and our core kind of relax. It actually becomes a lot harder on our shoulders and it just becomes a body uh, walk towards the wall. We're not even getting into a good handstand position. It may feel like you're doing a lot more work by getting your core into a good position, but then you're actually loading yourself a little bit better and your shoulders better and then you're able to go further in the workout. And that's what you wanna be striving for. You wanna get as much work done with good form and good technique um, in that short amount of time. If you're relaxing your core and letting your hips kind of sag, you're really just doing, a, again, a body up with just using your shoulders. And you, that's just your shoulders doing the work, but you wanna be able to use your core and your whole body as much as possible because we want to get that heart rate up high and we don't want to make this just shoulder dominant in this workout today. So think about that body control so you guys can be efficient with today and also build skill. Learn how to get into, uh, learn how to find tension at the right times, learn how to relax at the right times for the kipping pull-ups per se. You want to be able to get into that hollow body position and then pull yourself back, or sorry, uh, get into that Superman and then pull yourself back into that hollow body position at the right time, finding that tension and relaxation to be able to get yourself uh, with that kipping pull-up, a chin over the bar or half, uh, half kipping pull-up. So all about control today of the body so you guys can build skill and you guys can be efficient with your movements today. Once you've done this workout, we're gonna uh, try to down-regulate. We're gonna do a stretch, 90 seconds of that last stretch per side 
Again, we're using a lot of pulls or doing a lot of pulling today, especially with the keeping pull-ups and with the kettlebell swing. So take that time to relax those lats, open them up so you guys can get yourself recovered uh, and good to go on Friday. So hope you guys enjoy this one. Um, this is kind of a good one right before your rest day there, unless you're doing another workout tomorrow. But um, good to work on some skills, sir. Uh, practicing that kipping pull up if you have never have done it before or just building volume today and just trying to get more endurance. Hope you guys enjoy this one. We'll see you guys Friday for the next workout.